Welcome, 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 welcome one and all. I am your Saturday night. This is your Saturday night. Welcome to your Saturday night. Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. So hopefully, hopefully all this out. Yes. Welcome. 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 <laughs> Sometimes I get really excited when I'm doing this. This is one of those times I'm excited. I hope you're excited. We're going to be doing some painting tonight. I already have some stuff sketched out, so I kind of know where I'm going, what I'm doing. Uh, just so you are aware, <clears throat> you know, I do have captions on, should you want them, should you need them, uh, anything at all. You know, they're there. Captions are there. So if you need them, they are available. If you don't need them, well, they're still available, and sometimes they're helpful. I already have some paint laid out. I already have some brushes grabbed. We're going to be having a good time here. I'm kind of rambling a little bit already, but, uh, you know, I have my sketch. I have everything set and ready. So let's get going. We're not going to we're not going to take too long to really start this. I already have my paints laid out. Quick cover just in case you need it. So I do have uh, some um, nutmeg, some raw umber. Um, I have well, I have a few browns. I have a lot of black. I have purple. I have uh, a really dark blue, a lighter green, uh, a kind of a lemon yellow, gray and white. Uh, so I already have some things picked out. I also have a couple other colors. Uh, which are inks, and we're going to be starting with those. So let's get the brushes out of the way. We're going to need those brushes, but we need them out of our way right now. Because that's how this goes. So I had a few ideas for where we're going with this, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start taking one of those directions. So there's two places I really want to start with this. Um... And as I said, uh, you know, I already have some other colors picked out, so I'm just going to go ahead and start getting some of that on here. Which is actually going to be going in here. And this is just a, a red. It's going to overlap some of what this background area is going to be. Just want to get that in there right now. I don't want to lose the opportunity to already have this nice rich red kind of in here. I played around with a few ideas in my mind of like, what am I going to paint? What am I going to do? Uh, but then I, I kind of felt pretty good about a couple possibilities. So those are what I'm going to pursue. As I said, I, I already have like some sketches here, so we are already working with something to kind of drive from. Now, some of this is going to be working as our initial kind of tone and color base. other aspects of it, you know, we'll see how things go as we move forward. But there's just, you know, kind of a, um, a flavor I want to get in here before we really get moving on anything major. And to kind of talk for a minute about what we're going to be doing here. And again, like this is kind of like establishing some of my uh, pre-coloration as we go in. So it's not necessarily how everything's going to look in the end, but it is going to start forming some of what will be our later design. Yeah. 
I'm just getting some rough shapes and everything in here uh, before we really dive in. Because I want to uh, establish combinations of things like lighting and tone, some of what will be eventually kind of the, um, well, you'll see. Not all of this is going to stay obviously exactly as I'm doing it right now. Right now, I'm just kind of like getting some things done. Getting some stuff worked out. So I hope you're having a fantastic day, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you are. I hope that you are doing awesome. Yeah, I'm just kind of starting to do some of my establishments in regards to cone, color, tone, and lighting. Doing this now actually is going to make the final piece all that much better because we're going to have a lot more to work with and a lot more to work off of. And once I establish some of these things, get them laid down, then I'm going to jump right over, which I'm actually going to do in just a second here. I'm going to jump over and I'm start working on what's going to be the, um, I guess the palette. I don't know. We're Just trust me. We're going to go there. We're going to get it done. So some of this stuff I really need kind of picked out ahead of time, really um, established early. And getting that done with these inks, uh, to me, is one of the best ways that I can really start to get my uh, foundation down, my fundamentals, as it were. Oh, well, we're going to end up having a really cool scene here, or at least I hope so. We're going to see how it turns out, obviously. We're going to all find out together. But there's some things that I need to do first. And I'm going to be going with kind of a... Uh, I don't know if it's dusk or sunrise. Whatever it is, that's kind of the direction I'm starting to move in here. But getting this guy kind of fun, like the sun's not really up, per se. I don't know which direction it's going, but it's going in some direction. And there's going to be some more stuff going in, obviously. You know, this is not the end of all it is. Some of this is going to overlap places where later on we're going to have uh, some of our character kind of uh, painted in, but there's aspects of this which are easier to do now than later. Just like a whole lot easier to do this now. So this is a really good uh, starting point. It's a really good starting point. Like personally, I already feel like I have something nice established. No, here we go, right? Here we go. Uh, with the sketch that I already have here, 
we just have a really good starting point. And I know that some of this is like really drastic, like hard line, uh, but don't worry. It is all going to make sense in the end. Or not, I don't know. I'll leave some of my um, decisions until, I don't know, things start to feel more in place. Yeah. I'll, I'll leave some of these decisions until, you know, I start feeling more comfortable with where I am and what I'm doing. I hope you are doing spectacular today, no matter where you are or what you're doing. And I truly hope that your weekend is going fantastic. Uh, I know I actually, I don't think I've said this yet, but in a stream, but you know, happy, happy new year to everyone. Very happy new year to all my amazing friends. doing all their amazing things. No matter what amazing thing you find yourself up to as of late, I hope that it is spectacular. This is gonna get a little messy for a tiny bit as we start to make things, you know, begin to make sense. And that's the way it is, it has to it has to start rough. We can't jump in and then just have everything make sense right away, right? Right now, I'm just starting to establish some early concepts, some early uh, blocking, getting places filled in that eventually, hopefully, will have nice, crisp colors. And it all takes time. I heard someone say uh, recently that, you know, you should start with, um, you should start with the eyes and go from there. And though that sounds like a very practical concept, it just doesn't strike me as the way I want to go all the time. Like, <sighs> definitely starting with the eyes is a great place to start. But... I don't think we have to, and I don't think we should feel like we have to. So even though I've heard that piece of advice, even though I'm aware of it, um, that's not the direction I'm going. And actually, you might find that in some of um, my paintings and everything, that actually is the direction I'm going. Not necessarily because of uh, having heard that piece of advice before, but because sometimes it just makes sense. But having heard that piece of advice, I can say, like, without a doubt, that does make sense. And we're going to be having kind of a, um, a woman standing in front of an open sky, uh, which is kind of what I've gotten started here. And 
there's actually some things that I want to do early on. I realize some of this is going to get covered up as I continue moving forward. But I'm not afraid to repaint something. That is not really a concern in my mind. You know, I understand I am going to have to repaint things. And I also know that as I do so, I will end up creating well, just a better piece. So there's some stuff that I know, like for a fact, I want to establish now. Um, like this thick hair that's kind of blowing in the wind, uh, but also is kind of getting pushed out of the way a little bit by her hands and her arm. Like, she's holding her hair, kind of pushing it out of the way. We got a lot to do before this is, like, good. Um, I'm using black to start out with, um, which is not always something that I encourage you to do, but there are times when it makes a lot of sense, and this is actually one of those times. And I'm actually going to end up coming through here and adding everything from like browns to highlights and just a lot. There's going to be a lot here. So I need to really make the most of every step in my own journey. And actually, even as an early on, like this is just where we are at the moment, it's not necessarily super far into it. Honest, I, I think this is a really good start. Especially knowing that I'm going to be adding more. This is a really good place to start. All right, so I've done all of that. There's a couple other things I wanna put in here. So I'm gonna start working them in now before we get too far along. Gonna end up taking a bunch of this green here. Kinda work that into our foreground. I'm going to end up painting over edges of things. Um, honestly, over painting is just a better idea in a lot of situations. Because it's a lot easier to add, 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 add than to take away. Now, I'm going to be coming in here with this blue and this has several places to go
And again, I'm overpainting on the green edge. Overpainting on spots where I'd put hair already. But I just don't want to lose any of this. Don't want to have anything falling apart. And I'm just going to brush that blue down. Getting it all the way. We're going to have a really weird background. Yeah, we're going to call it weird. Now that I've done that, I'm going to come up. I'm going to start working in white. Again, overpainting into other places. Not going to worry myself if I overpaint. One of the most important things to remember in art is uh, mistakes happen, and it's okay. Got a bunch of that into where the hair was. So I'm just going to go ahead and brush it in. Work it in. And work it out. This is going to be a painting that obviously I, I need to take my time with. But I also don't want to be precious with it. You know, that's going to be a really important thing also is not, not getting too attached to some of what I'm doing. Kind of putting some yellow on what's going to be this skirt, pants, whatever it might be. Come up and I don't exactly know where the uh, top garment rests, but we're going to make sure that anywhere it could rest has been painted. There shall be no unpainted places. Though there will end up being more hair and things in here. I'm going to have, uh, that, that's going to be a lot of spots. So I'd love to hear what people are up to, what they're doing, what their plans for the new year are. If you have plans for the new year. I presume a lot of us do have plans for the new year, but also I, I'm not going to presume that I know what you're doing with your life. That's your life. I don't make choices for your life. You do.
I'm getting a little messy with some of these brush strokes, but frankly, I think it makes it better. I don't want the background to necessarily be an identifiable landscape so much as a suggestion of a landscape. At the moment, I'm doing a pretty good job at that. At least, you know, I'm not doing a bad job at that. Start to add some other tones in here. And now I'm add, actually adding some browns. Not being too committal on some of this, so much as just getting it in here. Because I don't want everything to be like entirely flat. But, you know, there's just a lot to do. There's a lot to do. We're going to have a lot of areas of varying light and shadow. Because of that, I have to be very mindful of where the different parts of the figure are. And I'm gonna end up going in to do some fine line work as I move forward. Also, let me be honest, I already know this isn't, this isn't going to be like super realistic or anything. This is stylistic art, and should anyone have any thoughts or opinions uh, as I go forward, please do not hesitate to share those thoughts and opinions. Because we have a lot to do.
right now, I'm sure. Let me just readjust this, because that's falling on the screen pretty bad. <laughs> now we're having some fun. Um, yeah. Having some fun. I mean, I, I know I'm having some fun right now. Getting to do a kind of art that I really enjoy doing. In and to itself. Is tremendous fun for me. already start to see spots that like I'm really gonna have to improve on as I move forward but you know that's part of the deal right when you're painting when you're creating something you need to understand that there's gonna be times where you need to go backward and really make some commitments um, I haven't really gotten necessarily to that point where like I have to make certain commitments but we will get there and when we do I already know I have a lot of various types of commitments to make with this artwork things that right now do not need to be done but that will need to be done I don't have a great perspective here to be fair like this did not this is not going uh, as intended but that's okay do you know why because we're still early on you know you just you start with something and you keep going forward until that thing that you've done starts to really really makes sense and yes I mean I'm very stylistic right now like what we have going on is very much allowing myself to exist in a place of play and stuff like that's just beautiful. I have some things I need to kind of lighten up here. No, because they're just too dark. And 
then I have other things that I need to darken up because they're too light. So we're going to get a little bit of that action going here as I move forward. I know, I just kind of, like, the face looks a little strange right now, but trust me, eventually, it's really going to start looking better. I just have to go through, um, through some stages, some phases, as we keep moving forward. There's going to be some points where things don't necessarily make sense. And it's in those points where things start to stop making sense, where we get to move backwards, find what makes sense. further I move forward, you know, the more I like what I'm doing. going a lot of good directions here right now. Exploring a lot of interesting directions. I don't know what you all think, but I am having a good time creating what fundamentally 
is just a really fun, different piece of art. things to do. Now make it look a little bit more like is in here. With her fingers kind of like pushing into her hair and moving it aside. Getting some more details in here. Sorry if I go quiet for a second here. I'm just starting to clean up some of these edges a little. Sometimes that's one of the bigger things I need to do. Is that like a little bit of um, tidy up? Having some of these kind of black border areas, really not necessary. One of the big reasons I'm doing it right now is to give everything, I don't know, kind of a semi, not cartoonish, but I, you know what? That's actually probably the best way to describe it. Kind of giving things a little bit of a cartoon effect. 
without putting too much of a cartoon effect in there. This, by far, not my best piece of artwork. But you know what it is? It's still a really good piece of artwork. Like each little bit that I add in here, I think adds some really nice gravity to what's already kind of a, a really nice piece of art. I'm adding some areas of really deep shadow. Again, it's going to just improve our overall look here. Especially when I come in. Just add a little of that. Now that's not going to stay that way. But I needed to brighten some spots up. So that when I come in and I darken them in again, like it makes visual sense. You can't necessarily see the other eye all that well. Kind of ended up doing like some sort of weird Prince Zuko thing over there. I did not intend to do that. But let's go ahead and lean into that concept a little bit. Actually, I think that kind of looks cool. Is it a little silly? Maybe. Do I care? Nope.
again, I'm going to kind of lean into it a little bit. There's some spots of the hair that should be much brighter than they are. Where we get these kind of halos. Reflections. Things like that. Is this my best piece of artwork? No. Is it fun? Oh yeah. Now there's some things I need to do in here because I have some uneven areas of color. So let's see if we can even those out a little bit. Ooh. I'll be darned, that looks pretty cool. Alright, let's see how much of it I can get into my frame here. I 
I mean, that's still a lot to be able to get into frame. This has been, uh, yeah, this is our first painting of 2024. We've been doing some more kind of like characters and things like that. Um, I'll see what the rest of this year brings, obviously, because I don't even know yet. I don't even know yet what the rest of this year is going to bring. I can't, I can't just guess. <coughs> I wish I could. As far as everything with this, you know, I mean, obviously this is a pretty simple, pretty basic painting. But let's go ahead and give it that, uh, Signature and date. There we go. First painting of 2024 is done. I'd like to say thank you to all of you who've joined me today uh, for this first painting for what I guess is our first uh, character work of the year. Is it great? No, but dang it, it's fun. Uh, I can see already like a lot of ways that I could have made this better. I can see a lot of ways I, ways I could have made it worse. We got a lady with a whole lot of hair. She is spectacular just like this amazing background behind her. You are spectacular too. Be excellent, my friends. I will see you again very soon. Take care, be well, and thank you for joining me for your Saturday night. And I am your Saturday night. Good evening.